I saw Cody on Wrangler Star using his skill saw, and I thought that was a pretty nice thing. I've got quite a few skill saws. I think I got like five or six of them sitting around, you know, flea markets, uh, auctions. So I ended up picking up quite a few of them. This is the first one I saw that was a worm drive. Worm drive, according to what I've read, is a much more powerful saw. Uh, the only problem it has is it tends to kick back because it has so much momentum built up in all the gear train. I picked this up at an antique store. Yeah, I know it's not an antique, but that's what they had. Uh, it's an upstairs section of the building that not everybody goes to, uh, but I always go to it because that's where they put the tools. Uh, the tools in an antique store usually are given a place that is out of the way because really they're more interested in selling uh, hummels and little doodads and furniture and things like that. They see those things as what they're interested in. But I'm always interested in old tools. And I'm also interested in tools in general. So this skill saw, when it popped up there on the shelf for 20 bucks, I said, mine. Now, it had a couple of problems. The handle's cracked. Now, that's the most expensive part of the repair so far. Uh, I had to buy a new handle. don't really know how old the saw is, but I know that they sell replacement handles on Amazon for $19. So I ordered one, came in about four days, I'm ready to go. They also sell switches and brushes and oil, which I was kind of amazed it was like eight bucks a quart. Uh, this is 85140. It's uh, multiple viscosity oil and I got that at uh, the traveler kind of gives it away came from tractor supply this was four dollars and ninety cents oil is oil as long as it says it meets API service GL-5 it's good oil now I'm going to take off the blade and I have another blade to put on it and I also am going to drain the oil that's in there out of it and replenish the oil and replace the handle. So the first thing I'm going to do is set it up and let it drain the oil. The oil fill is over here. I'm going to take that loose. It's a half inch wrench. I'm going to take this plastic meat tray. I like them because I don't really care if they get screwed up. When they're dirty, I throw them away. Take the drain plug out. Put that in that little tin can over there tuna fish can. Then take this and set it over the top. And let the oil drain out. Now that's going to take a while. Because it is 140 to 90 weight oil. Well, 85 to 140 weight oil. It's going to take a while to drain out of there, so I'm going to give it some time. We'll come back to this later t today, and we'll start working on the handle. <laughs> 